This is Zeko3, and let's continue discussing our modded career mode playthrough. In the last video, we tested out some of our new aircraft designs, had Jeb fly through the island airfield hangars, and transported some passengers between the island and the space center. We've unlocked general rocketry, so it's time to emphasize the space part of our air and space program. In the mission control, let's find a contract worthy of Jeb's adventurous spirit. It looks like we have one to make a suborbital flight. I do not think we can quite reach orbit yet. Hopefully, we can get enough science unlocked from a suborbital flight to make that happen. Since we can take two contracts, we can fly past a survey location during our suborbital flight. It's not worth very much, but we are going to need the funds to upgrade our space center. Very soon, we will need to prioritize upgrading our hangar and runway in order to build and launch bigger aircraft. For now though, we should upgrade the astronaut complex. This lets us do EVAs. EVA reports are a great way to gain early game science points. Actually, they're a good way to gain science points no matter what part of the game you're in. But for now, we'll be able to get some new locations. In the hangar, we need to design a craft that can actually fly past the Kármán line. None of our previous designs have even come close, so I'm thinking of making a hybrid jet rocket plane for this mission. We can take advantage of the new rocketry parts in order to make this happen. Since we are going to be using jets for the initial part of the ascent, we should not need too much rocket fuel. We can also use the Reliant engine. Unlike the swivel engine, it is unable to gimbal, but it is a little lighter. So for a flight straight up, it's probably our best option. Just like all other aircraft, we need to be mindful of the center of mass and the center of aerodynamic pressure. I like to take my time and make sure I get that right. I'm going to add a vertical stabilizer here and in this case this vertical stabilizer is going to be a bit of a hybrid. I'm going to use it for yaw and pitch. If we just angle these wings a little bit we'll be able to do that. Just being mindful of my center of aerodynamic pressure, seeing how my center of mass moves around. We'll add a set of flaps, we'll add a set of ailerons. I like to give each control surface generally just one function, although in the back uh, they'll have two functions because that's what I need to do. Same thing with the gear, I like to make sure I take my time and get it right. This craft, I want to make sure the gear is basically just behind the center of mass. By making it just behind the center of mass, it makes the craft a lot easier to pitch up when you're taking off on the runway. And these don't have a lot of braking force, so I like to add a little bit of extra braking force on these early wheels. And our front wheel actually doesn't have any brakes at all. Since we're going to be going higher than any Kerbal has ever gone before, we should add some science experiments and bring back the new information for the Kerbals over at the R&D building. We can also put this Kerbal engineer system to give us valuable data during our flight. And let's call this, I don't know, the KX-1. It's kind of a, an experimental aircraft. Always check your staging. In this case, we're going to be using jets first. Once our craft is fully assembled, we'll need to make sure our pilot with nerves of green steel is in the cockpit. So the flight plan is this. We're gonna get as high as possible using the Juno engines. Then we'll point the craft straight up and fire the Reliant engine. Since we're also doing the survey mission, I'm gonna head that direction to do this. It's not very far away, but let's get in the general in the city and we'll hit it. We'll go by that location there as we kind of come back from our our trip up past the Carmen line here. Getting enough speed, enough altitude. Juno engines just don't do too much. Let's see if I can get up to 5,000 meters before I need to light our rocket. We're slowing down quite a bit. Good thing we got a rocket. Hopefully it's got enough juice to get us up. All right, just point this thing straight up and we are gonna act like a rocket now. We are kind of right over our, our survey location, so hopefully we'll just kind of come straight back down. We'll get 
science points here in the upper atmosphere and we'll get science points then in space low above Kerbin. These are some nice experiments. We'll get some points off of this. Uh, we can also do the EVA report in both locations as well. So that'll be some good science points for us. We're still very all into the game and just trying to unlock as much science points as we can. Now we didn't get too high, so I don't think re-entry heating is going to be much of an issue, but I'm going to try and hold the craft just flat and create as much surface area as possible so we don't accelerate as much through the atmosphere. Just use the plane and its surface as much as I can to slow down. Just take advantage of its aerodynamic properties till we get a little unstable. We're doing pretty well though, although Jeff is flying really fast. Oh, and we're low enough for our Junos to start working again. We'll just point this craft back towards the runway and our survey location. Pick up the contract for the survey. We're getting pretty close for that. We don't have much longer left for this flight. And then, just take her home. Fire that jet by the rocket there and see if we can get a little boost for the trip home. It's nice. Actually, this is pretty good pretty good plane design that we've got working for us here. I am hoping that it also lands well. The engine's kind of heavy on the back end and the gear don't raise us very much off the ground. So if we're not really, really level on landing, I'll probably break the engine. Let's see if Jeb can do this. Wait, does Jeb even care? No. He's not going to care if he breaks something. No, and he did. Well, we got all the science points. Good job, Jeb. Here we go. That's a lot of good points there. Let's go back. Yeah, we're in good shape. We'll need to go to the research and development building again. And we'll think about what we're going to need to do continuing this mission on. And I want to see if we can reach orbit and I think I think we can there's one contract to do that I'm not sure I can pair that really with any other contract right now hey we've unlocked advanced rocketry perfect there are enough parts in here that we can go orbital maybe to the Mun if we design the right rocket but let's see if we can get an airplane into orbit. This this is going to be tricky. We are still at a 30 part limit with our unupgraded buildings. So I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible. Uh, just very few parts. The Terrier engine has a really good specific impulse. I did some experimenting earlier with different engines and different configurations and the Terrier seem to have the best just all around what I needed to make this work. It has a very good specific impulse in the upper atmosphere and in the vacuum. It has a high enough thrust to weight ratio to finish the circularization and it's actually a pretty light engine as well. Some of the others I thought would work okay but they were kind of heavy. I had a couple solar panels just so we have uh, reaction wheels once we're in space. That'll be the only way to maneuver. We don't have RCS thrusters unlocked yet which means we also don't need the RCS fuel in the capsule so I've been getting rid of that just to shave a little bit of mass. Now we're gonna launch this kind of like a rocket here uh, this won't be quite like a, a shuttle launch. We're just going to put the rocket underneath. and I'm just going to use the solid rocket booster here, put a couple fins on it, and see if I can get this plane as high as possible. An issue I think we're going to have is a lot of these early parts are not very heat tolerant. I'm not really sure how this is going to end up working for us as we try to accelerate really quickly and then we're also gonna have to decelerate 
when we come back into the atmosphere. I, I'm not really sure if this is going to work for us or not. We'll, we'll do our best. We got Jeb in there. I'm pretty sure he'll make it. I don't really know about the plane. All right, Jeb. We'll wait, warped here to the sunlight, uh, or morning here, and launch this thing. So far, the solid rocket booster is doing a really good job of getting this thing up. I kind of want to get up around 20,000 meters before I need to use the carrier engine. It just, it doesn't do very well in the lower atmosphere, but once the pressure gets down, it's, it's pretty efficient then. And we are gonna have, looking at my numbers there, I'm using the Kerbal Engineer readout, which I put the part on the plane, the Kerbal Engineer system part, and that's why I have the display up top. Normally, if I just had Jeb, I wouldn't. And I'm looking at my Delta V numbers there. And I think we're going to get into orbit just fine. And we'll have plenty of Delta V left also to deorbit the plane. Always, always a bonus there. Now, we got, um, since we're in almost an orbit here, but what Jeb can do because he can do an EVA report, is we'll have Jeb get out over every single new biome, which actually is going to be kind of boring if you're watching, so I'll speed that up by a lot in the footage. But we'll have Jeb get out over every single biome and get an EVA report, which on Kerbin, he'll be able to go over the water, he'll be able to go over the shores, the grasslands, the mountains, the highlands, the deserts and badlands, all in, all on just an equatorial orbit. Obviously, we won't be able to hit the polar regions and get EVA reports over them, but that's going to be quite a lot of EVA reports, which should give us quite a bit of science then to work off of. So this will be a very valuable flight for us as far as science points goes, and I wouldn't have been able to do that had I not unlocked being able to do EVA reports. That's why I like to prioritize upgrading the astronaut uh, center there because it unlocks the EVA reports. Now, for well, probably the most dangerous part of this mission, re-entry. Now, I'm most concerned about these landing gear. They have an extremely low heat tolerance compared to some of the other parts. So I'm gonna try and actually re-enter with the plane upside down. So if I can get these wheels behind the wings, I may be able to save them. I'm not sure. This, oh, okay. No, we're not going to be able to save the landing gear. Well, this is going to be interesting. Well, we've got Jeb. I, I'm certain something will get back on the ground safely. It might just be Jeb. I'm um, hoping. Maybe maybe we can ditch this thing in the water near the space center. I, I wasn't really planning that. I don't... Oh, we're... Uh, we're not going to have enough energy. No, I slowed down too much. Uh, can we make the water? No, we're not. This is... Uh, maybe a little burst from the terrier. Can we push it? I, I don't think we can. I, oh, this is this is looking scary. Jeb, can you pull it off? Maybe we'll land enough and save Jeb. Oh, wow. Hey, Jeb saved the cockpit. <laughs> and, which, that's where all the science is. That's, all right. Hey, good job, Jeb. <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna save it. Apparently, we did. That's, that's why we have Jeb on our program. We at least get the science points, and we fulfilled the contract, and we can <laughs> recover some of this debris which will get the uh, science points from recovering uh, parts from going to orbit. Let's look at what's next here. You know, there's something kind of like starting our own, our own, let's see, I'm looking at these contracts here. I'm not very familiar with all of these modded contracts. Uh, those rescue ones look kind of interesting. I'm not quite sure what we need to unlock to do those. Let's see, what have we got here? 
just so many different interesting contracts. So there's this one to kind of take a tour uh, so we can scout some locations for like our airline or something. It, it looks really interesting. I think I'll be doing that, which, you know, that would pair well with a, a survey mission or something because we're just flying around in the lower atmosphere. Looks like our passenger plane that we've already designed can do this mission. You know, I, I, think, I think that's the route we're gonna go. I'll see what this maybe unlocks in the future. I have Kerbal Constructs and it's pairing with this giving aircraft a purpose. This is Echo 3. Thanks for joining me for a modded career mode save. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.